Let me ask you a question. How is the first word defined? I mean literally the very first word. We had no other words to define it with. The first time, we just had to have things that we all accepted, like we understood what they meant without having words to define it. So we call those original terms undefined terms, and they're basically the building blocks of our entire language, of our entire society. And in geometry, the undefined terms are point, line, and plane, which is what we'll be talking about today specifically. This is geometry class, and I'm David Walker Peacock. But first, a bit of history. Historically, much of geometry was developed as Euclidean geometry, or non-coordinate geometry. It was named after the mathematician Euclid. Euclid's most important work was the 13 volumes of the Elements of Geometry. He began his systems of geometry with three undefined terms, point, line, and plane. From those terms, he defined other geometric vocabulary and postulates. Euclid would then proceed to proof theorems using the definitions and postulates, much as we do today. So let's start with point. Uh, this is a point right here, or more accurately, it represents a point. We use a dot. In reality, the point has no actual size. It's used to represent an object or location in space. So it's more like a pixel, or even more accurately, a GPS coordinate, where it has no space. It's not anything. It's just represent. It's just there. So if you point at something, you're not saying like a five foot radius or even a one inch radius. You're talking about a very specific spot that you're pointing to. And that's what this is too. Uh, to name a point, we use a capital letter. In this case, A. This would be point A and we would just write it out as A. Next, we have a line. A line has no thickness or width. It's used to represent a continuous set of linear points that extend indefinitely in both directions. So this width that you're seeing here is only so that we can see it. In reality, it is a series of, you know, points. It has a length, but it has no width. Uh, so it goes on forever. That means like a laser pointer, it has a starting point. A piece of string has endpoints on both ends. So we can't call those lines. We can call those, well, we'll get into that in the very next video. But a line goes on forever. It starts and ends just never. It's indefinite. It has, it has no beginning or end, much like I'm sure you are feeling this class is right now. Uh, we name it um, by using a lowercase script letter. For those of you that don't know what script is, script is cursive. Uh, now, what if you don't remember cursive? Well, luckily, ha we have a way of dealing with that. We can also name it two points on the line. So in this case, A, B. Please note, if we had a third point C, we could call it AC, but it is only two points on the line, not three, and it is any two points on the line. Next, we have a plane. This is a plane, as I'm sure you can tell uh, right here. Let's talk about how we what a plane is. A plane has no thickness, width, or depth, uh, and it's used to represent a flat surface that extends indefinitely in all directions. So think like a piece of paper, although that's even actually as thickness, but just that goes on forever. Or think of you, if you were in a really, really flat area, like say Lubbock, Texas, and you looked out upon all the land and saw nothing. That is an example of a plane, not the things that fly in the air. That's a different plane. Uh, it's named by a capital script letter, as you can see in this case. Now, if once again you know no capital letters than cursive either, uh, you can make it look like just kind of a fancy looking A or something like that. But also you can do this. You can also name it by using three non-collinear points in the plane. So you could, for instance, name this plane ABC, CAB, BAC. Uh, any of those would work. And that's it for points, lines, and planes. 
Uh, next lesson, we are going to be discussing specifically defined terms. And by next lesson, I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube, the one that should play next if you use the playlist link I sent you. If not, there is a link right up there. Just please understand, this is to be continued now.